Coming to Kickstarter this June, John Haynes at Death's Door, the man who rules the world, takes on the Greek god of death in this action-packed all-new John Haynes comic book. Get your copy of the standard and variant editions of John Haynes at Death's Door and lots of other great stretch goal rewards on Kickstarter this June. One of my viewers wanted to know what my thoughts were regarding the two U.S. veterans who wound up getting captured by Russian forces. Now, these two individuals, one white and one Asian, are veterans of the U.S. military, and they decided to volunteer to fight the conflict in Ukraine or help out Ukrainian forces, depending on what reports you read. And when it comes down to those two individuals, I basically see them the same way I see the black Detroit man who was 62 years old, Dr. M. Dujan Johnson, who also decided to fly to Ukraine to fight the Russians in Ukraine. Now, these individuals decided to go and fight in the war in Ukraine at their own risk without any sanction from the U.S. government. And because they decided to fight in this conflict without any sanction of the U.S. government, I have to say that this, whatever happens to those individuals, sadly happens to those individuals. These individuals made a choice to go out here and fight a war that was not sanctioned by the U.S. government, and they knew the risks that went along with fighting in a conflict inside of a foreign country. So these individuals knew that there would be risks with them engaging in this conflict, so they have to deal with the consequences of taking that risk of going to another country and fighting in somebody else's war. As I see it, black people really shouldn't be thinking too much about these individuals because these individuals are not really thinking too much about us. Moreover, the Ukrainian government has shown and expressed a lot of contempt for foundational black Americans and Africans in that region. So they have not really shown that they are open to black people when you think about the way they have treated Africans in that conflict. Africans were basically stranded in the Ukraine while everybody else was allowed to leave and Africans were treated in a sec as second-class citizens in the middle of a war zone. So when I look at the whole conflict as related to the Ukraine, I really don't really want to talk about it too much because it's not really an issue for foundational black Americans because we foundational black Americans have our own struggles over here as related to the 2022 election. Now, my main focus as related to things is black empowerment and the conflict in Ukraine really does not relate to black empowerment, especially when you consider that your Azov battalion is considered to be a racist faction in the Ukraine. This is not really a fight that black empowerment needs to get involved with, and black people, we really need to start focusing on black empowerment because these individuals who decided to go and fight in that war they already are dealing with the consequences, but we have to start taking action to move ourselves ahead as a people, and we need to start focusing on empowering ourselves by focusing on developing our campaigns to get tangibles in exchange for our vote, starting with this 2022 midterms and many of the local races. That's where our priorities need to be as a people, we need to be focused on black first and black empowerment. Right now, we need to be focused on ensuring that we make send a message to many out here that our vote is not to be taken for granted and that if you want to get the black vote, you're going to have to bring some tangibles to the table because we are no longer going to be voting straight down anybody's ticket unless there are some tangibles in place because there will not be a repeat of 2020 when guys like your Jim Clyburn can go out here 
and get booties to the polls to vote for a candidate like Joe Biden who did absolutely nothing for black people except express his contempt. Because over the last two years, your Joe Biden has gone out here and given Ukrainians tangibles and they weren't even citizens and black people were not able to receive anything except an empty symbolic gesture and a Juneteenth holiday that they basically want to steal away and turn into another day for white people to have their barbecues and their parties at our expense. And we cannot allow that to happen because we were told that we were the main reason why Joe Biden got into office. And if we are so important to getting the people into office, then we should be first in line to get tangibles. It shouldn't be Asians getting an anti-Asian hate bill, Hispanics getting all sorts of tangibles, and members of other communities, like the alphabet community, getting tangibles, it should be black people getting tangibles in exchange for those votes. And that is the more important fight for black people. We really cannot worry about some individuals who go out here and volunteer to put their lives on the line for somebody else's country. No, we have to focus on putting ourselves out here so that we can get the tangibles in exchange for our vote and get a black agenda pushed through because we, black people, we need an anti-black hate bill on the books yesterday because we continue to suffer as related to white supremacists attacking us like the Peyton Gendron did at the Topps supermarket. And we have all sorts of racist and white supremacists all across this country looking to wage war on black people. And that is the bigger priority as I see it that we need to be focused on. I really, as I see it, our focus needs to be on black empowerment. Our focus needs to be focused on electing candidates who will go out here and push a black agenda. And we need to go out here and be the ones who pick our candidates so that we can go out here and get that black agenda pushed through and get black intangibles back to black communities because right now we don't have black we have black politicians but those black politicians serve white supremacy and if we are going to empower black people we need to start learning more about the political process so that we can pick candidates who will go out here and support black empowerment that needs to be our main focus and our main goal in addition to focusing on working on building up a black community through group economics. That also needs to be another focus for the black community. We need to start focusing on trying to build up black owned businesses like my SJS Direct Imprint and many other businesses of other brothers and sisters out here. And we also need to be focused on elevating the black image and taking control over the black image. So we have a lot to do out here as related to business and our business isn't getting in the middle of some conflict between your Russians and your Ukrainians. Let them have their beef that has nothing to do with black people and the fact that they have expressed contempt to black people like the Africans early on in the conflict shows us that we need to take our our time and focus it elsewhere and right now as I see it foundational black Americans we have too much on our plate and we have too little time to be focusing on somebody else's country we need to start focusing on our local business and we need to start focusing on working on building up our platform so that we can go out here and start meeting benchmarks as related to meeting the goals of a black agenda that's what we need to be focused on not these guys who went out here to volunteer to fight somebody else's war i mean this is the fourth this is the third person I've heard to be captured. The first person I heard to be captured 
was YouTuber Coach Red Pill who went over to the Ukraine to report on the war and he has been captured by Ukrainian forces and now these two individuals are captured by Ukrainian forces. Now these individuals went out here and volunteered to go out here and be a part of this conflict so they can go out here and stay over on that side of the world because that side of the world has nothing to do with black people and we need to focus on what we need to do as a people to empower our collective and what we need to do to enrich our collective. That is what black people need to be focused on right now because this is not our war, this is not our business, and this is not has nothing to do with us. Yes, I support all of our American um, servicemen and women who serve in a conflict that is sanctioned by the president, but I have nothing to say about what goes on in another person's country because what goes on in another person's country has nothing to do with me and what ha goes on in another person's country has nothing to do with black people. It has nothing to do with black empowerment. Whatever happens in the Ukraine is between the Russians and the Ukrainians and whatever conflict that goes on, it, it has nothing to do with black empowerment. So I, I, I'm staying right out of it because it's not my business. And again, the viewer wanted to know what I thought about what happened to those soldiers who went to volunteer. Well, they again, they made the choice to go over to that country. They knew the risks. And if whatever happens to those soldiers happens to those soldiers, but they knew going in that they had no sanctioning by the United States, they had no sanctioning from the U.S. government, and they knew that this could be a possible outcome for them, and sadly, this has become an outcome for them that they're going to have to work out for themselves. Now, this was a requested video from a viewer, and it's not going to be monetized, so if you want to request a video, uh, you can donate to the Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, E-Steam Horror of a Hyena Woman, Hell's Aspiring Angel takes on a wicked werewolf in this action-packed all-new E-Steam series adventure. Get E-Steam Horror of a Hyena Woman in paperback and e-readers today. Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis Legacy. The sorority secrets of the goddess next door are revealed in this all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis Legacy in paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere.